Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds to get good luck. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, guys, I'll be doing a GUI review in Lumber Tycoon 2. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with that post notification turn on and also smash the like button if you enjoyed. And yeah, we're just going to begin. Let's go. So the script and key and everything like that will be in the Discord server down below, guys. The Discord server will provide you with the script and key, everything like that. I know you guys do not like that. You guys would rather have a paste bin link for the script. But sadly, guys, you know, nowadays, all scripts and GUIs have keys now for some reason reason so yeah that's why it's not a paste bin link you have to join the discord server to get the script and also a key and yeah pretty much what you need to do is attach and then execute the script once you've pasted it in obviously i am not showing it in the video because i don't want to leak it and then once you've executed guys it pretty much will show you like a i don't know like a login thing and you need to press a confirm key and then type in the key and after you typed in the key you just need to press confirm and then you've you've got the GUI. I've already done this before starting the video, so I've already got it up and I'm just gonna enable the GUI, there we go. And pretty much we're just gonna begin guys. So we're just gonna start with the credits right here. So the main script here guys is yo it's tactic hashtag 8977. So huge shout out to him. And the UI library is made by the alex 14 which is the person in my game right now so and also helpers or ancestors and sign sin mod um I'm not too sure if they actually helped with the GUI or if it's just some scripts that were taken from their GUIs and uh, they just gave credits to them, I'm guessing. So I don't know if they directly helped them create this GUI or not, but anyway, 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 we'll just move on. So pretty much we're just going to start with players, guys. So players is walk speed, which increases your walk speed. Uh, can you minimize, can you shorten this? Oh damn, you can't even minimize the size of this GUI, which is kind of annoying. But pretty much you can, yeah, I'll just put it in the corner like this. And yeah, walk speed increases your walk speed to whatever your preference is. Jump power is pretty much the same. You can increase your jump power. And hip height will allow you to, it's just where you float pretty much. So why has it gone weird? Okay, yeah, this is a bit bugged because, what the hell? Yeah, look. Yeah, it's going up slowly for some reason. Yeah, this is bogged a bit, hip height. But it's pretty much, like I said, it's where you float. I'm just going to put it back to zero because I don't really need hip height. I don't even know how to explain gravity, I'm going to be honest. Infinite jump will allow you to jump forever. You can just spam jump and you can just keep going up. Very cool. No clip will allow you to go through stuff, so we'll go through walls apparently underground as well now let me put fly on is there fly there's no fly what the f how is there no fly in this gui i'm gonna die okay that okay i survived i've survived wait it might be in other wait this is the play tool it should have flying here what the hell i don't know if this gui is not fully developed yet or something but i got dm'd this by the by the creator and asking me to review it so i'm guessing it's completely done or if this is version one or something like that base tools Let's see this. So base tools will give you free land, max land, and it will give you blueprints, which will give you every single blueprint in the game for completely free, temporarily, guys. It's not permanent. Gray wood is basically the gray paint where you can pretty much, if you turn it on, I think you can just place it down now and it will become gray. So there we go. You just turn it on and then you place in any blueprint. Well, it's not every blueprint. It's It depends on what type of blueprint it is. Some blueprints are not able to get turned into um, grey wood for some odd reason. I, I actually don't know what the reason is for that, but yeah, I think these and some of some of the blueprints are allowed to be uh, changed into uh, grey wood, but some can't. Clear entire base will clear the entire base pretty much, pretty self-explanatory. Clear structures is clearing like, I don't know, like gifts and stuff like that. For the longest time, I thought structures were like actual like blueprints and stuff but I, I actually realized like i don't know a couple of weeks ago or something or like a week ago that it's actually like sawmills and stuff like that or the player base tool this is where you can base wipe other people's bases but i would not suggest doing this. i'm not even going to showcase this this is not this is not nice guys if you want to do it then fair fair enough if you got permission yeah i wouldn't even touch this feature and then there's auto builds right here very very cool ferrari yo let's try this ferrari Okay, I've never seen Ferrari before. This should be good. Yo, okay, okay. So it's not a completely finished one. I can, I think this is just the... I don't know. There's still gaps and stuff. So that's not very good. But the outside of it looks very, very clean. 
and it's just these gaps right here that put me off a bit but that's that's actually really good i actually like this auto build right here i'm just going to try this this is the only one i'm going to try you guys can try out the other ones if you want to we haven't got time for today's video but next is waypoints guys pretty much waypoints is where you can go anywhere in the game so shops uh where else trees um where else yeah shops trees and then and then other locations like main locations like the bridge um the cave etc etc and there's player tps right here where you can tp to someone so you just select someone else's name teleport to their base you can teleport to their base as you can see teleport to player you can teleport to the player very nice and these are the teleports i was talking to you guys about shops wood areas landmarks and you just drag them down and you can do them if you want to i'm not going to try them out click tp tool if you press that you get the tool and you can tp anywhere you want to by pressing it and if you've got the tp tool enabled there's not many features in this gui i can't lie but mods let's see mods this will remove water remove oh wait what oh this oh no oh my god i'm an idiot so this will give you water walk which will allow you to walk on water wait what the oh okay now it's working i think i've got no clip on that's why it glitched down for a second but anyway yeah water walk and you can remove water by pressing here well toggling this on i think you can enable it yeah you can okay and then after that is remove lava you can remove lava in the volcano remove fog which is pretty good you can remove the fog in the game always day that's very nice as well always night that will give you night no one wants that let's be honest and brightness you can increase the brightness of the game which I don't think it did anything, to be honest, did it? Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. What the f- What? You can't even tell it's- Yeah, you can't even tell it, I don't think this works. Remove lava boulders, that will remove the boulders in the lava, which spawns over there in the lava once you've entered it. Remove shrine doors, will remove the shrine doors underneath the volcano you guys should know what these stuff are if you don't know then research and then dupes guys which will give you axe dupe money dupe and i think that's it money dupe and axe dupe where's the item dupes and self dupes and stuff like that oh this is oh this this is an automatic money dupe i think see you can dupe once you can dupe twice three four five okay so i think you select one of these and what the f oh my days we need fly in this gui bro this is so so annoying like i was saying you can just select one of these and you can dupe it that many times and this is just axe dupe the normal axe dupe where you press this and if you have an axe out in your hands uh, it will automatically dupe it pretty much as long as there's axes in your inventory wood tools guys this will give you bring tree Ooh, let's try this so i haven't got any axes on me so i'll just axe alex thank you perfect okay anyway that's it <laughs> that's pretty much it so let's go into wood tools again and uh, let's go to bring tree and let's put the amount as one and we're just going to select one of these so it can be any tree at all guys as long as it's in the game so let's try gold swampy so that will give me swamp wood i'm pretty sure this gold wood obviously and that should auto cut and then auto bring it back to my base along with me perfect wait what why did it bring it to alex's base what the flick i don't know why it brought it to his base it should be bringing it to my base so i guess that one's glitchy as well very very annoying oh the axe tools okay so this will allow you to kick someone so i'm just gonna kick alex why not who cares so let's go gonna kid kick him and there we go you need to have an axe in your hand guys for this axe for this kick to work pretty much and uh, did it do it and it didn't even do it great okay so that's not even working so this gui is a complete mess at the moment it's a complete bug it's so buggy flip sake i gave him the axe oh my god i'm not even going to rate this gui okay so i usually do but i'm not going to rate this gui because I, I feel like this is very unfinished work and it wouldn't be fair of me to even rate this and yeah there's no mod wood there's no auto buy there's no i guess wire art is why art's a thing now apparently i need to actually review that soon but yeah i'm not even gonna rate the gui like i said pretty much that's basically it for the video huge shout out to the creators anyway i'm not i'm not trying to be mean or horrible anyway huge shout out to you for creating the gui but there still needs to be a lot of work still need to be done but yeah, that's pretty much it from me in today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the post notifications so don't miss any other videos. And yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Like, subscribe, and peace.